Are you ready to revolutionize your weight loss journey with a pill that gives injections a run for their money? If you haven't heard about Ozempic yet, buckle up because we're about to explore a new weight loss pill that Leo found and this one you wouldn't want to miss. Welcome back everybody, I am Lucy and I'm here to keep Leo's research and memory alive while educating and helping people live better life. Before we jump in, click on the subscribe button, ring the bell because you don't want to miss any of the upcoming videos from Leo's research. First, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The battle against the bulge isn't new. From the early days of W's diet pills from the latest like FDA approved medication, we've come a long way in understanding how to fight fat. So when it comes to the history of weight loss drugs, it started with the mitochondrial and Kaupler in 1933, followed by the sympathicomimetics drugs, it started around 1947. Then we have the polypharmacy class of drugs, 1961, the CB1 receptor blockers around 2006. We have the pancreatic clipafis inhibitor that we will be talking about in 1999. Then the 5-HT2C receptor agonist around 2012, the sympathicomimetics anticonvulsant class of drugs 2012 as well, the opioid receptor antagonist, dopamine and neuroadrenaline rehab tech inhibitors around 2014. And for the GLP-1R agonist, uh, liraglutide is 2014 and semaglutide as recently as 2021. So we all have heard recently the buzz on semaglutide and I often referred to the brand name Ozempic and it's not just making ripples, it's creating tidal waves in the weight loss world with double digit weight loss percentage. And guess what? It's become the non so well kept weapons and secrets of the stars. As recently, we have seen people taking Ozempic like Elon Musk, uh, Sharon Osbourne, Amy Schulmer, Chelsea Handler, Tracy Morgan, and even Michael Rubin. So these are just a few of the big names that turned the tide in their battle against the bulge and with this game changer. And the result is like nothing short of dramatic. You can see how dramatically those celebrities have lost weight. But let's just not name drop for the sake of it. What's truly fascinating is how this medication is changing the narrative when it comes to weight loss. It's not just about looking good for the camera. It's about living a healthier life and a new chapter in life. So today we are going to peel back the curtain to see if there is any even more potent medication on the horizon. A pill might just be outshining those injections, so stay tuned because this is where it's gonna get very interesting. But let's start with Ozempic. The drug have been on everyone's lips since 2021. It's got the power to slash those pounds, but it comes with two significant drawbacks. First, the cost can burn a hole in your wallets. And second, it's an injection. I mean, who's really a fan of needle, right? Some of those <laughs> fitness and bodybuilders are keen to it, but I will say most of the population are not. There's this thing. Weight loss is just not one size fit all. And the reason behind Wingate are as unique as you are, which means there are different things that will work better for different folks when it comes to medication as well. And before we unveil the new heavyweight champion of the weight loss pill, yes, I'm going to make a lot of boxing reference here. Let's take a quick detour and explore some of the other contenders that might just fit you like a gloves for your weight loss needs. First up in our arsenal, we have Fantamine Topiramate. This is a dynamic duo that can get you between like 10.9 to 12.4% weight loss over a 50 weeks period. So it's not just an appetite suppressant, it's like a heavyweight champion when it comes to hunger management. So here's how it works. Phantomin is like your brain personal trainer getting those monoamides pumping and make you feel full. So Pyramid, on the other hand, is like a mystery player. It was originally designed to tackle epilepsy, but now it's stepping up into the ring to knock out appetite. And as for the proof, we have a couple tries like Equip, Conquer, and Sequel that have put the tag team to the test. And the results, they are really champion material. But as with any contender, there are challenges to face. So side effects include like dry mouth, insomnia, racing heart rate, and it's really crucial to have a cornerman in your case at any given time. Your healthcare provider can help you navigate these waters. As always, I'm not a medical doctor, this is not medical advice, always consult with healthcare professional before you make any decision. This is just for entertainment purposes and so you have some information that you can share with real professional and see what fits best for you. All right, now let's dive into more numbers and get down to the need degree with naltrexone and bupropion. This is just, just another contender. It's a proven competitor with a track record helping people lose between 5% to 9.3% of their body weight over a 56 weeks period. Now. How does this dynamic duo work? It's magic. So picture this. Bupropion steps into the ring and boosts your dopamine and neuroadrenaline. 
That's your body natural feel good pep talk, basically, which in turn activates PUMC, your appetite suppressing heavy gem, if you want. Now let's look into naltrexone. It's playing defense against beta endorphin, which has sneaky way against enhancing appetite through those cannabinoid 1 receptors. But naltrexone isn't having any of that. It's there to block and tackle potentially making the effect of bupropion even stronger. <laughs> As for the clinical trial, this speaks volume. The four core trial with core one leading the charges in 2014, I've put the team to the test. And the results is that they have earned their place in the weight loss playbook. But as always, let's talk some side effects because they're also part of the story. With this combination, we're looking at nausea, a dry mouth, constipation, and yes, also an up uptick in heart rate. These are the stats you need to know before even considering uh, taking this combination. Now let's send the spotlights to liraglutide at 3 mg dosage. So this isn't just another player in the game, it's a strategy that's been helping people achieving a solid 6 to 8% weight loss over 56 weeks period. Also very impressive, right? But what's the secret behind liraglutide's success? So it's all about the GLP-1 receptors in the hypothalamus. So when liraglutide step into the ring, it activates POMC neurons, amongst others, putting the brakes on hunger signal like neuropeptide Y. So the SCALE trial, including the notable SCALE sleep apnea study started back in 2015, have put liraglutide through its space, and the results have been a win for many looking to lose weight. But like with every medication, it has its counterpunch. With liraglutide, we're looking at side effects like gallstone, pancreatitis, and an increased heart rate. The upside, there are no risk in psychological symptoms, which is a common concern with dopaminergic and adrenergic drugs. Next, let's talk about Olistat. So this isn't just your typical appetite suppressant. It's like a different kind of player in the weight loss league. It prescribed at a dose up to 120 milligrams three times a day. The Olistat approach is unique. Instead of diving into the complex world of hunger mechanisms, it plays a straightforward game. It targets the lipases in your gastro gastrointestinal tract, putting a stop sign on the absorption of triglyceride. It's simple, yet very effective. The main event that put Orlistat on the map is the Xandos trial, way back in 1999. This was the trial that laid the groundwork for Orlistat's place and the weight loss playbook. But there are still side effects like loose, oily stool, and yes, also flatulence that often could clear room. <laughs> but it may also, most importantly, block the absorption of those all-important fat-soluble vitamins. So you have to keep an eye on that, especially if you have cholestatus. So take a little tatka that might be your best friend in this case. So despite all those side effects, Orlistat stands out as the safest anti-obesity drugs in the market, and it's even prescribed for children. So when it comes to the heavy weights of weight loss, uh, Fentamine and Topiramide is a duo that's very hard to beat. They've outperformed the competition, including bupropion, nitrexin, GLP-1, agonist, and even Orlistat. But before we talk about the pill I wanted to talk about, let's also mention the future of weight loss. It's looking even more innovative. So imagine a world where we can target our weight loss as precisely as we target symptoms with medication. So that's where we eventually heading with some new potential mechanism that are being developed. Some of those are selective melanocortin 4 receptor agonists. So if you've heard of the tanning drug melanotan 2, which I'm sure you have if you're watching this channel, its notorious effect is nausea. So it gives you the idea of how it works. It's about curving that appetite at its biological core. Then there's also the cannabinoid 1 receptor blockade. Think of it as the anti-munches effect, reversing that insatiable hunger that you get from marijuana, for example. It's like flipping a switch to say no thanks to the snack drawer. And also don't overlook serotonin 1 receptor agonists. This, this isn't just about feeling good, it's about downregulating those receptors that can drive us to overeat. And lastly, we're also looking at dual CGLT1 and CGLT2 inhibitor. These are just not about managing diabetes. They might be also the next thing when it comes to cutting down weight. And as a side note, there are also Ritalin that is currently in phase three trial. All of these are potentially game changer in the horizon for health and wellness and for weight loss. There are things to keep an eye on. And remember, the journey to weight loss is evolving every day. Now, what if I told you that the weight loss world about to be rocked by a new contender. So let me introduce you to tesofensin. It is a triple threat uh, that's stepping out of the shadow of neurological research to get into the weight loss spotlight. So tesofensin isn't just another pill. Individuals have witnessed an astonishing 10.6% weight loss over a six month period. Yes, we're hitting the double digit with six week period. The previous medication we talked about 
for about a 56 weeks period. So this is just better results faster. It was originally developed for Alzheimer and Parkinson. And tesofensin is a triple monoamide rehoptech inhibitor. So now let's break it down. Rehoptech inhibitor block the absorption of neurotransmitters back in the nerve cells. Now, which neurotransmitter are we talking about? The big three. We have dopamine, neuroadrenaline, and serotonin. The chemical that affects basically everything from mood to appetite. And the secret sauce to tesofensin it's all about cranking up the activity as the D1 dopaminergic and alpha-1 adrenergic receptor, which put the brakes on hunger like nothing else. Let's get a bit into the data. In a groundbreaking 2008 phase 2 trial, we saw that 0.25 milligrams of tesofensin led to a 4.5% weight loss, all of this in six months. 0.5 milligram resulted in 9.2% and one milligram, which is the heaviest dose, 10.6% decrease in body weight over six months. Now, it's just not about shedding pounds. This powerhouse also brings down triglyceride and also better blood glucose level. So it's kind of a two for one deal on health benefits with it. But let's talk about the side effects. We're looking at gastrointestinal issues like nausea, stomach pain, and mood change. But most of the side effects were observed at one milligram dose. And we also have an uptick in heart rate. However, so like I mentioned, the side effects are tremendously reduced at the dose of 0.5. Now, imagine pairing tesofensin with a selective beta-1 blocker like nebivolol to keep your heart rate in check or latrexin to even further fine-tune your appetite control. So we're talking about a tag team that could really redefine weight loss. And stay with me a couple more minutes because I've prepared for you a comparison table that you must look before choosing which weight loss helper is best for you. But before we do, Let's line up this offensive with some familiar faces in the weight loss arena. It's time for a head-to-head -head showdown to see if the new kid on the block really stacks up. A little bit of history. Central nervous system stimulants have been in the weight loss playbook for a long time now. And when it comes to getting a grip on those neurotransmitters, it's all about occupancy rate. So bupropion. It reaches about 25% occupancy at the DAT. Tisofensin, on the other hand, it takes up a notch to 65% DAT occupancy. And why this matters is because higher DAT occupancy is key player in suppressing appetite. But it's not just about dopamine. Tisofensin also targets neuropinephrine and serotonin receptor, hitting that sweet spot of 50 to 70% of net and 70 to 80% of cert, aiming for like a full spectrum antidepressant effect with a lower risk of abuse. Speaking of Potential abuse, while well, tesofensin shows a promising profile, methylphenate, another heavyweight champion when it comes to weight loss, is known for its higher risk. So it's not just about risk, but it's also about the result. So methylphenate brings a massive impact on net reuptake inhibition and a unique twist with its agonist of the serotonin autoreceptor, which downregulates the entire serotonin system. As a side note, when you decide to mess up with any of your brain receptors and regulators, oh, just always be careful. Talk to your healthcare provider before doing anything. I think it's important to understand the risks versus the rewards and make conscious decisions. In the end, it's not all about the numbers. It's about finding the right match for your weight loss journey. And nevertheless, it should always stay combined with lifestyle changes because nothing is magic. Now let's make a realistic comparison of those products if you do not have insurance and you live in the United States. Please take a screenshot of this or just pause and look it over. But when you compare semaglutide cost with its result compared to tesofensin's cost and its result, knowing that we having an injection compared to a pill, I mean, we're talking about semaglutide for a month, it's cost about between $800 to $1,000. And in six months, you can achieve up to like 12.10% of weight loss. But tesofensin, on the other hand, is takes around like 200 to 250 a month at a 0.5 milligrams. And you can still get like a 9.6% body weight loss over the same period of time. So it's all about what you prefer or what you decide to do at the end. But I think it's good to have something to compare all of them that we just talked about. All right, we've dived deep into the world of weight loss medication today, and I hope you found this comparison as enlightening as I did. Now, I'm gonna do uh, my own personal share with you right now. I've lost 20 pounds over the last four months. I had a very difficult time to lose weight after my pregnancy, and I finally started to take things seriously. I only did it using diet and some exercise, but mostly diet. I'm looking to lose another 15 pounds to get back to where I used to be. To help me cross that finish line and to also experiment with tesofensin, I'm going to start taking it for a month. I really want to experience those effects and see what it does. 
I am very well aware about my brain chemistry. For that reason, I am going to cycle it, meaning I will only take it four times a week and take a break for another three and cycle it like that for a month and see what are the results. I'll be pairing it with a beta blocker to just to keep everything in check and I will be reporting back and let you know how this worked out for me. Remember, always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new medication. This channel is all about entertainment with a sprinkle of education and take what you learn and talk it through with a professional. And I'd like to hear from you. Uh, if you want to leave a comment below and let me know which medication intrigues you or um, share your own weight loss journey, and you know this will help boost this channel and keep Leo's legacy going. You will also find a link with his notes on the subject with all the citations on there on the description below. This video was made based on that and I just scripted it about to make it more entertaining because I'm very uncomfortable filming and I appreciate you sticking with me. Thank you all for bearing with me. Together let's just build a community that's all about health, knowledge and support and let's keep Leo's memories alive. Until next time, stay curious and stay well.